Today I'm gonna teach you how to replace a sky using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, let's get started. Before anything else, I would like to say that I'm using Mac and every time I say Option or Command key in my keyboard, that means Alt and Control in PC. Right? Okay. Right click in the image, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, let's edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. Edit. And now we're in Photoshop. Right? I have a sky here ready for you guys. I just hit Command A to select all and Command C to copy. Go to my image, Command V um, to paste it. Alright, and then I'm gonna add a layer mask, but while clicking the Add Layer Mask button, I will press or hold down the Alt key or Option key in the keyboard to automatically invert the mask. Okay, Option click. Now the sky is hidden because our mask for now is black. Alright? Now I'll go back to my background layer and select the skies. To do that, there's two ways. We can go to channels and while holding the option command key in the keyboard, click the RGB. That or the easiest way or fastest way is hold down the option and command key and press number two. All right? And then let's add a curves adjustment layer. If you don't have these icons here, you can go to layer and new adjustment layer and curves. And just hit OK. And then I want to go and see my mask all right by holding the option key and clicking the mask here in the curves adjustment layer now i'm in that mask i'm gonna hit command l or go to image adjustment and then hit levels okay i'm gonna turn that into all black by moving this um, this guy here that hit ok as you can see there's still a lot of white specks left so I'll just grab my brush tool and brush around alright ok um, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I go to filter blur and Gaussian blur I'm going to blur the edges uh, in, so that the, the transition between the clouds and the, and the image and the, will be soft. It's not really hard, so it's not obvious. Okay, I have it in um, a radius of 0.4. It actually depends on the size of your image. If your image is small, 0.4 might be too much, right? Right now, I'm gonna select all, Command A, and then Command C to copy, and then go to the mass of the sky and paste Command V. And what's the magic? There's two ways: it's either you press the backslash on the keyboard or click the thumbnail of the sky. What's the magic? Boom. There you have it. Now I'm going to deselect and usually change the opacity to at least 60. So it's not too obvious. And there you go. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I usually just uh, flatten this one, close it. 
and save go back to Lightroom and it's there all right and here uh, you can enhance more fine-tune more depends on your taste all right you can go to HSL saturation saturate the blue more it's up to you all right you can do whatever you want and then uh, if I export it for social media like Facebook I just go ahead and export or you can right click here and export okay and then specify where you're gonna export it so you will not be lost put the file name and I'm gonna resize it to 1800 pixels on the, on the long side and 120 resolution that should be enough for Facebook okay and um, you can also add your watermark and specify what to do after exporting like this one I want to go back to Photoshop export all right and uh, if I want to add a little sharpening what I do is I do uh, duplicate the layer command J and I'm going to sharpen smart sharpen put a hundred and if it's too much I just lower the opacity You have to be careful with sharpening. Sometimes we over sharpen the image and it hurts the eyes. It's destructing. So I have it only on 25. Uh, the value here uh, in sharpening depends also on the size of the image. So we know what to do. All right, thank you. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. It's really fast. You have to do it like couple times and you're good all right thank you and thanks for watching bye bye